Warning, the following film contains some irresponsible behavior. All such behavior is carried out by adults that should know better. Most scenes were carried out under the supervision of the local police and authorities. Or were reacted purely for the dramatic effect of this film. No driving took place under the influence of alcohol or other banned substances. Accordingly, the Gunmoth 3000 group, the director, associates, partners, sponsors, supporting government, charities, and other people involved in the making of this film, was insisted no one attempted to copy this rally. We would also like to inform the audience that we do not know any illegal or dangerous behavior. And wish to make clear that the original intention was to make it far more stylish than what you're about to see.
taking the back way to the starting line right now, but in about five minutes, there's going to be pure hell fanfare. our first adventure on the Gumball Rally, finding a gas station in London. That should just be a rally in itself. I've never had such a hard time getting out of a city in my life. London is the most difficult city to find, just a highway. It's all I ask for is just a fucking highway.
30 miles an hour right now. That's it. Oh, the McLaren got fucking caught. Oh, yeah. We're getting beat by an F40 and an F50 and then we're third. Check it out. I'm surrounded by $2 million worth of vehicles. Master pilot pass. <laughs> Trying to get through the tunnel. This is gonna be fun. Hello. We're about tenth. Tenth, nice. We're about tenth. Place. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Give us our passport thing back. Yeah. There you go. There's your booking reference on the return leg. There, gents. Thanks for your help. Please don't speed on the terminal. Yeah, Katie. No, no, no. I'm making a I'm making a license plate right now. In Pennsylvania, you only need one in the back. Oh fuck! So now I gotta fucking draw one, and hopefully they won't catch me. All right, FW. What is it? FW. Where we live, you don't have a front license plate, so now we're making one out of duct tape and and, and black markers. And hopefully this will pass for a legit license plate and get us through to another country. If not, I guess you'll find us here on the next way around. If we don't make it to France, I'm going straight to that bar and getting shit tossed. Deal. The English didn't know what to do with us because we have a license plate from Pennsylvania. <laughs> we had to wait an hour and a half, but now we're finally on our way to France. We're on the tunnel now. We still have 18 more hours of driving left. <laughs> oh Jesus! Thanks Fucking shit! <laughs> Puking on my mates! <laughs> oh, here we are. This is the, what is it? Bole Castle? In Belgium? It was a rough trip here. It, it should have been about four to five hours shorter than it was, but we made it. I think we're one of the <laughs> we're on the tail end of the entire rally, but not last. Water, tomato, apple, orange, orange, not vodka. My nav broke, 
and I drove all the way to Brussels when I didn't even need to. 80 miles out of the way, 80 miles back, back to fucking France. They wouldn't let me into Belgium when I was already in Belgium. I'm pissed. What? You fags just got here? Okay. We drove to Brussels. Wrong way, motherfucker. We drove four hours the wrong way. You said 40 miles to Brussels. Oh, yeah. We drove from uh, <laughs> Belgium. We drove from Belgium, went into France. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are we back in France? Then I turn around, they're just like, you can't come into Belgium. I'm like, I was just in Belgium. <laughs> we made checkpoint, but we're late to the Belgium castle. We've been here for 10 minutes, and now we're instantly driving to Vienna. Eight hours probably. Rad, let's go. Bam frantically pulled over like he had a flat. So we followed him. <laughs> and then he just sees this deadly half pipe that has been formed under a bridge that's maybe four feet wide. 4 a.m. And at least 10 feet off the ground. Not really the most optimum half pipe you could find, but. <laughs> Fucking six hours in a car. Oh, dude, any trick is gonna be so hard. Back in the land. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off up there. Dude, eight hours in a car. I can't no, pump right no. now. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck this. That's fucking sketchy. Belgium Bridge, done. We're somewhere in the Alps, I think. That sucked. Those are the hardest carbs I've ever done. take a loan out for. I gotta remortgage my house just to get across a state over in this country. Uh, it's 5.30 a.m. somewhere in Germany. We left London, I don't know, 13 hours ago or something. Sun's coming up. <laughs> we're out somewhere like six hours away from Vienna, and we're gonna have breakfast there. Right.
the Vienna checkpoint in 20 minutes if everything goes okay, but something's telling me that it's not going. Because there's cops everywhere. Oh, well, how much is it? What do we do now? Can I pay it in Amer American dollars? We're gonna pay US dollars, of course. Okay. Can I come with, have him come with me? Yeah. Dude, they're everywhere. They're like ants. They're there's ants there's motorcycle money. cops, there's cops in BMWs, faking to be cops, there's real cops in vans, there's an old lady in a walker, there's a goddamn cop right motherfucking there. I think we should get pulled over again. We're pretty good at it. Yeah, we're not getting good at it. We're, we're getting good at getting pulled over. Passport, yeah. Polish chauffeur. Just me? Vienna. We made it to Vienna. What is the line for omelet? Stuck behind an Oompa Loompa. ticket. <laughs> we only had to pay $150 for going 167 miles per hour, but um, what's going on? Pulled over. How fast? 167, was it? <laughs> they let us go. We're like, we only have $150 in America. And they're like, just give it to us and then you can go. We were making pretty good time. Oh, we were making great time. It was a, uh, a BMW and they just pull out this big red, like, this big red light and says stop because we're the police. Like it was just 
all undercover. We're like, fuck. Secret fucking police. It was fun. We were neck to neck with the Enzo and a Mercy Lago for like two hours, seriously going about 140 average speeds. <laughs> Friendship, exactly. said he'd jump off the bridge here if anything was worse than the time we had in Vienna with all the kids. I'm about to go wake him up and show him how worse it can get. Wake up, dipshit! What you the think fuck? it can't get worse than Vienna? Get up and look at this. Oh my god. Oh, it can't get worse than Vienna. Look. than this. It cannot get worse than this. There you have it. Dude, that is like the filthiest fucking river ever. Well, put your trunks on. Give me a new change of clothes then. You're the one who made the bet. You give me a new set of clothes and I'll jump in. Fine. God. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I got a shower and I still smell like shit. <laughs> ah, dude, that current was so strong. Well, at least I can say I jumped off the Budapest Bridge now. Oh, well, you got a shit river. You got that going for you. That's on the top of everybody's to-do list. <laughs> you ever been to Budapest? Yeah, for um, maybe a total of 10 hours, and basically I jumped in shit river, took a shower, slept, and then woke up at 7 in the morning and started driving to Belgrade. <laughs> <laughs> this traffic is not gonna move. Can, you want to grab a McMuffin for me? No other Mexicans have jobs. I guess I'll have one. Hey, hey, can you go? Can you grab me an egg McMuffin? Did you guys there? act? Did you guys act any worse? <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. Hey, hey. Hey. Also, Mike, I don't have any money. Can you pay for it? Thanks. Right on. I need to get an egg McMuffin. Sorry. Breakfast sandwich. Yes. Can I get one? Cheese? Perfect. Perfect. One bacon toast. One bacon shit burger. Yeah. Perfect. I'll take a bottle of water. Without gas or without gas? Uh, without gas. French fries? Um, no, no, no. It's kind of early. You eat French fries this early? You know who you're at Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll tell you who he is. He's a douchebag. You know what? Thank you very much. Oh, I'm gonna. How are you? Here you go, man. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is it? There's Sit no on it. That's what they sell to these people. Shut up. No, <laughs> no egg on here. <laughs>
What do I look like? I don't know what an egg is? With the water? You lie. You sabotage dude, it. I didn't sabotage. You know what? I don't fucking appreciate that. I don't fucking appreciate egg muffin with no egg, all right? <laughs> look at that. What is that? When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Well, then stop complaining. And they didn't know who Tony Hawk was. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? I'm turning around. <laughs> <laughs> countries in one day. Follow us. Isten hozta Magyarországot. Mercy Lagos, found it in, in the back of Tony Hogg's car. Now 20 minutes later, we're off, but I don't think we're gonna be number one.
weather breakdown. Why don't you give me an update? Okay, so we just ended day two. We just entered Serbia and Montenegro. Seriously, the city ahead, Belgrade, their capital is just insane. It's not every day you come to a place like this. The mayor of Belgrade is hosting lunch for us. So obviously we're in very good favor here and there. How much is that car worth? About a million. About a million. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! Ah, buddy. Glad you're alright. Yeah, yeah, glad you're alright. Oh! It's in short third party. Glad you're alright, huh? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, you're right, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah it was guys, a good you save, you guys were... Life, dude. You don't understand the spill you took. Yeah. You yeah. don't understand the fucking spill you just took. You were sideways at like, what, over 100 for yeah. a while. But we were you didn't flat get on from, did you? No. I got flat. You got a spin? You got a flat? Yeah. You got flat from that. Yeah. Tell me what we, you saw. We were running, and we were behind Max and behind the, the Rolls Royce, and I'm saying to my buddy, I said, this is a 6,000 pound car driving at 160, 165 miles an hour. I said, this thing won't stop for shit. All of a sudden, we, we take this turn and it got a little bumpy, it got a little out of control. I started slowing down and then we saw the, all the smoke and it was just incredible. It was incredible. All the smoke, the car started spinning around. I saw Max slamming on the brakes. I started slamming the brakes, down shifting all over and thank God we were able to stop. You still shaking? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we were gonna stop that car in time, you know? I felt, I felt all right, you know what I mean? It's so, you just feel as though you know you're going to be all right, don't you? Because that thing's like, I did think it was going to flip over though. But I just sat and I went, oh no, we were just going, hold on boys, hold on, hold on. And that was it. No spare? No. The drama en route to the planes, uh -huh. the drama unfolds. The whole way, the momentum of the car just went, and we couldn't, <laughs> <laughs> and it just went, 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 and Did I license? Auto Papier? No, I didn't have a crash. I haven't had an accident. Over there. Was that one? No, that was. <laughs> oh, they think. We were literally, out, literally having a chat. We're, we were going. I was going. Okay, boys, let's hold on. Let's, let's hold on. Right. Let's let's hold on. Let's let's hold on. The whole thing was just so smooth and so just like. Yeah, this is oh, we had Lionel. We had Lionel Richie playing. That's it. Went round. Fire! Fire! Fire in your car. Fire! Yeah, it's actually burning. Fire extinguisher. In the truck. Yes, yes, yes. Check. What is that? Oh, check, check, check your phone. Check your phone. Check your phone. And need that as well. Gori, what would you do? What would you do? No, very good. Fire. 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 Max had so much fun recording all this. Slow down, make a laugh for the fucking navigation system, and all I want to do is punch him in his stupid face for doing it right now. Max, 
thanks and all for uh, your effort and putting your voice onto our navigation, but it just makes me want to punch you right in your fucking eye. As a matter of fact, the next time I see you tonight, after having me drive down these stupid fucking roads, I might just do that. A lot of good looking people around here. <laughs> no, you're supposed to go that way. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they made the same mistake. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Shit. This is some balls. We're going down oncoming lanes. Are you filming this shit? Yes. <laughs> Dude, and this guy's in a fucking. Uh, what the hell? He just doesn't care. We are filming gangsters. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're following Serbian gangsters to our checkpoint and they're fucking driving us down the wrong fucking side of the road because they can't, they own the police. Oh my god, there's a red light there. Don't get fucking holy shit. Holy oh fucking my shit. Fucking god. I bet these guys just run this country it's like they the, if even if we got pulled over the police would be like, you know, they they pay off the police. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm following him. Is that cool? Great. Let me. I don't know. We got paid Passport. Oh yeah. There you go. What's that for? Service Malta. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, um what, say it again? Following the gangsters doesn't work out all that good because you get pulled over and almost get gang raped. Yeah, but they actually let us go. I know. What, that guy was so mad at you when he was slapping his hand. He was oh, saying yeah. he was gonna take you to take you in. Oh man. Oh, this way.
downtown Belgrade was the most hellish experience ever. And now that I know that it was completely pointless and I could have went to the airport, it makes me even more pissed because it was a fucking... Probably 20,000 people just surrounding cars. I couldn't go in reverse or forward, and I had no help from police or anybody from the gumball to help me. And I just have fans just fucking jumping and pounding on the car, and I can't go anywhere because I don't know where the fuck to go because if, if I look up, it's just millions of fucking people. So I, I, I'm just sitting there completely fucked for 20 minutes as people are asking for autographs. I'm like, dude, if I sign one, I'm going to have to sign everybody's like, just... And then if I roll the windows up, they start pounding on the fucking windows. So anyway, you're screwed. I'm so pissed off, dude. I'm seriously taking like some 10 sleeping pills. I mean, who cares? Looks like I ain't doing it.
and it's 8 in the morning and uh, the people who loaded the car onto the plane in Serbia ruined it because the rims are scratched, the car's covered in white shit, and the car doesn't go in reverse. That's not very nice, is it? You have got a drift car after all. Oh, yeah, oh. you do have a drift car. Bam's got a drift car. It doesn't go in fucking reverse. You know how big of a deal that is? What I know about Thailand, monsoon season is May to October. It's May 4th. I guess it started. Dude, that guy. Oh, it's flat. Oh, fuck, man. Just get it. You all right? So what happened? Uh, we were tooling along down here, and uh, I was just overtaking, so it was an angle. And uh, we hit a bump, took off. So when we landed, we landed sideways. Went through the trees for about 200 foot. Snapped about two or three of them in half. And then slid in there. Nicely parked though, I think, you know, this is sort of straight. She happens. holding strong going on the other side of the road that we're used to but we're gonna make it through to the back cave Doesn't work, the clutch is slipping. 
That's not very nice, is it? We're uh, putting it through the mountains, through these serpentine roads, and we're not even bothering to go to the hotel. We're going straight for the airport and putting this thing on a plane if we get there. And you know that none of these Thai dudes know shit about Lamborghinis, so we're probably just going to be sipping on beer at some random hot... Hope it works. Dinner is served. Hit the road, baby. We're three hours outside of Bangkok, and the Lambo's fucked. That's not very nice, is it? I think I popped the fucking tire. Thailand is like the worst unpredictable roads ever. Like, before you know it, you'll just hit a big huge dip. It's fucking bullshit. This is the worst highway ever, Thailand. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna have to skip the hotel, take this shit to the airport, and then take a taxi to the hotel. We'll show up at the checkpoint in a taxi. We're still ahead of a lot of people. We could like we could definitely make it in time. That'll work. 
Take that too. Give me a hug. I want a hug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that, dude? That's dude. a whole new deal. A different just shut off? Dude, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And the wipers went. We got a full electrical meltdown coming on this mm. mug. Something's up with the Maybe we should later. Bangkok traffic fucking sucks, and this car is giving out. Like, it's literally giving out now. We're only 12 fucking miles away. Just let us get there. Here I am in Bangkok, completely stuck in traffic all around, fucked on the side of the road. The Lambo let me down, and we're sipping on beer with the locals down here. All right, here, here's the scoop. Um, I just talked to the co-pilot tech support people, and they're tracking BAM's location right now, and then they're gonna beam it to us as a new route in our in our little co-pilot nav system. And uh, I don't even know the road we're on. I'm just drinking beers with locals because that's all I can do right now. They're gonna figure out where you are and plug that in as a route to our thing. Uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just call you if we figure anything out. Okay. Hey Ryan. Ryan. Our car just died. <laughs> we'll call you back. So that was Birdman trying to figure out how he can come help us, but I don't I can't tell him where we're at because I don't know where we're at. Well, this is a new twist to our little adventure, isn't it? We were about to save Bam, and now perhaps we need saving. Cheers, I'm getting drunk. What are you drinking with the locals? <laughs> it's so good. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting drunk with the locals. Here, let's, uh, I can, we can fix this, it's easy, I think. I didn't really want to put the positive turtle back on with my bare hands. I don't know much about cars, but I know that much. The locals here, the local heroes are like, you should uh, back your car up. I can't. Okay, we need to pull this out so I can get to my tools. I don't know what road. I can't even read the language. I mean, I, I would give you more, but all I'm gonna do right now is drink a beer and pretend I'm in a happy place. have a BMXer here because he's got the ultimate set of tools. A guy just cruised up on a scooter and is selling hot dogs, so we got that going for us. Because skateboards make so much money, they can afford to have someone else fix shit. You can't fix this car, Nicole! I can trade the watch for a goat and we can eat that later on. But uh, no, we have some local money, but not too much. I wonder if this was Bam's problem all along. Maybe his battery just popped out. If you don't hear from me again, I don't know, look for a hut on the side of the road in northern Bangkok with a purple Lamborghini causing a traffic jam out front. You'll find me underneath it drinking a beer. I should hold it so we get somewhere. Why don't you see if the car starts? We're in a really horrible situation right now. Luckily, these locals can't speak a lick of English and they're just cheers into the purple Lamborghini. Let's go get Bam! Instead of eating ourselves like in the movie Alive, we gotta eat crickets on the side of the road. That's our team. Woo! Go deep! How was it? <laughs> you do what? I'm down in France from Thailand to get tech support from Copilot find out exactly the latitude and longitude of Bam's car near Bangkok. I'm not happy. Yeah, in here. In here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Cool. We're going. We know that Bam is on the way to the airport from the city. He's a little off track, but we know he's on the way. But our, we couldn't figure out how to get going the right freeway or direction. So we just hopped out of the car and got a cab because the cab knows how to get to the airport for sure. And so we figure he's gonna drive us towards the airport and as we start getting closer to Bam's location on that nav, we're gonna tell him to stop <laughs> and hopefully find Bam. It's kind of a shot in the dark, but it's a lot better than what we were doing when the thing was telling us to make U-turns on the freeway. I don't know, I could be raped, I could be caused, you know, they could crown me king, I don't know, they could rob me and kill me. Okay. I, I don't believe me yet, but wait a minute. 
What's that? Uh. You have 1,000 there? Uh, 1,000. Yeah. No. How much is it? Oh, 2,000, yeah? 2,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. The Lambo let me down. <laughs> hey, wait, you know what? You think this is Bams? It might be another purple Lambo? Dude, how did you guys get out here? How did you, how did, how did you get, what? We were trying to get to the airport. What is should that? Happen? That's our food. We've we're not eating, eating that. We've been eating crickets. Yeah, but what about that? Alright, so are we gonna try to get your car to the airport at least? It you won't go eat. in first or second gear, but if I jam it in third and gun it, I could go in third gear. To, if it's in sixth gear constantly, it'll be fine. I've been here for five hours. Finally, the cameraman, you, show up and save us now. I've eaten crickets. Hey, I'm gonna go piss they, tried the to, they tried to make me eat this, and, Wait, Jerry, Jerry. and now you show up. Thanks so much. We made it to BAM. BAM is not a checkpoint, but he was our destination. We're going to get him to the airport. <laughs> Nightmare. That's what I think of the gumballers moving my car. That's not very nice, is it? So I'm leaving my car at the Bangkok airport and hopping into Tony's car and hopefully making checkpoint. And then from there, we hop it on to Salt Lake City where this thing needs to get repaired full blown. Well, officially out of gas about nine miles ago <laughs> per the zero mile marker on the uh, dash. Um, we're in Bangkok. We've been in Bangkok for a half a day. If you looked up sock in the dictionary, it would have a picture of right now. We just got picked up on the side of the road in the ghetto with the Lamborghini, and now we're running out of the gas in the car that picked us up. We're driving around in circles. I don't even think the cab driver knows where the hotel is. He's lived here since he was fucking born, and he doesn't even know where the fucking streets are. No fucking way. Is this the Oriental? Mandarin Hotel right here. I thought you said Oriental. Please be this. Uh, Mandarin Oriental or Mandarin Hotel? Taxi driver took us to the wrong hotel. How convenient. We're out of gas, for, it's been that way for 20 miles, and we go to the wrong hotel. Hey, Mike, I haven't heard how, uh, how you're holding up lately. He wants to punch somebody. No, I'm doing just fine. I'm just along for the ride, you know. We made it. This is oh. American history. I see the globe right there. We made it. Oh, my fucking God, we fucking made it. An end to a long one. We actually fucking made it. Where it took us, I don't know, a week and a half to get the fuck from the airport just to the hotel in Bangkok because it's a gauntlet of shit. But uh, we finally made it here and now I have three hours to sleep, get back in a car, drive to the airport, to get the car that's broken down at the airport, to get into a plane that's probably gonna crash, that's the way my luck's going, to go to Salt Lake City, Utah, to try and fix a car that's broken, if I don't crash, to drive another horribly disastrous three days to Los Angeles where I have to go to a Playboy Mansion. Yeah, that sounds like a great time to me. You know what? Next time, I'll uh, just pay one of you guys 10 bucks and you can go ahead and kick me in the nuts and ram a fucking fork in my eye. We'll call it quits. I can stay at home and watch some fucking TRL. It's the blind man on the pogo stick over there. I feel like I'm standing in line for lunch in high school again. Please, thank you.
leaving your seat and passing your seat at this time. After all, that is far too short to sacrifice it for a pillow. I want to see a face so I can look at them in the eyes and know that they did a donut in my car and watch them say that they didn't. Okay. And then they always say, we'll find out who did it. And it's been three days now and they still haven't found out. I'll find out for you. It's a gumball or moving it. If you speed, you will be kicked off the gumball. As a result, you will not be allowed to entry into the Playboy Mansion. Fuck the Playboy Mansion, it sucks. I've been there 10 times. I'd rather be at a strip club. And besides, I won't even be able to go there because I'll be too busy at a Vegas Lamborghini dealership getting the transmission fixed and somebody else ruined. Jim, where the Lambo dudes looked at the car and the clutch is completely blown, I asked them if I make, if I could make it to Vegas. They said, hell no. So now I'm putting it on a trailer and I'm getting fucking drunk. Yep. We were at a gas station and the people come up and are like, Hey, see your toy hawk and Mike Lilly are down at the skate park? Like, what? Like, no way. We even had a bet on it. No, I want a dollar. Bangkok to Utah. Question, yeah. can I get your signature and your signature for being the cameraman?
just left Salt Lake. We had a Lamborghini specialist look at the car, and they say that the clutch is fucked. So uh, we need to get there and get it repaired as soon as possible. And hopefully, we can make it to Los Angeles in time to the Lake Boy Beach. side of the road checking the engine because everything is falling apart. We're taking it straight to the dealership. I just saw the Lambo dealership and we will be there in two minutes if everything goes in. So let's get this thing fixed so we can make it to Los Angeles. There's first gear for you. leave the car at the Lamborghini dealership in Vegas and hopefully we can get in the morning and finish off this race in LA tomorrow. So we decided to go inconspicuous on the way to the Hard Rock Hotel so we could uh, kind of sneak in. Let's go ahead and head out. Stealth mode. <laughs>
We drove this car around the West on. Whiskey Watt. You go. What do you buzz on? Is that Jim Beam on? over there? Yeah, I'll We're about know. to. We just had a homeboy give us almost a quarter ounce of green butt over here just for free. Hand it to us. Weed? Uh-huh. But what'd you take today? Oh, um, some meth. Some meth? Yeah. Does that keep you up like two days? Oh, yeah. It, it does? Uh, in all areas, bro. That's I always got to find some bud when I come down. Mandatory. I live in that, in that yellow Dodge van right now until yeah. tomorrow. You don't even have a house? No, no not, we just moved from Washington. I guess we're out of here. Hey, so, the boy uh, gave me his autograph. Right, all right, bro, He's got a tight ass car. Catch all right. you later, man. See ya. I've officially lost my mind. I'm a Fruit Loop right now. And we are so close to the fucking checkpoint that I'm gonna start driving like an asshole. Oh my God, please don't. You're driving like a bat out of hell. I'm driving like a dingbat. <laughs> what the hell is a dingbat? I just want to fucking get to the checkpoint. Well, I want to get there too, but I would like to enjoy the checkpoint alive. Oh, fucking Christ. Jesus. God, dude. Oh, motherfucker. What? Is that a cop? No. I think it is. Where? Behind me? It's just it's some random dude on a bike. Oh, he's flashing me. God, I was doing so many things wrong. Is it a cop? No. Shit. Oh, motherfucker. Dude, hide the camera. Motherfucker. Well, if you weren't driving like such a moron, maybe you'd be all right. Dude, put your fucking beer away. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Well, where the hell do I put it? That's in some registration. Yeah.
got to be kidding me. I don't know how gum got in here. You know why I pulled you over? Um, yeah, I was speeding. Speeding? Yeah, I'll, I'll admit that. You were speeding, you were reckless endangerment, you were careless driving, and you were passing people on the shoulder of an interstate. Was, I, was that a shoulder? I thought it was part of the highway. That was a shoulder. Registration, please. Yeah. I don't, do you know where the registration is? Basically, you got about five or six violations. There it is. There you go. Could you back the car up right here just to get your front out of the way of traffic? <clears throat> is there any way I could pull forward? Excuse sir? me, sir. Could you back your car up? I, I can't. The car doesn't have reverse. What do you mean the car doesn't have reverse? Like, it... This button does not work. This car is so messed up. Every actually car has reverse, sir. Are you being a smart ass? I'm not being a, like it's, it's seriously messed up. It does not go in reverse. Car reverse none. <laughs> Wait right here. Okay, shit is. We don't need to sign here at the X at the bottom. Yeah. That is not an admission of guilt. That is merely an appearance. Do you know how much it is? What the ticket? And, and what, what is it for? Phone number on the uh, back to find out the fines and court fees involved or the hours of operation. What, what do you mean court call. fee? Do, do I? I have to show up to court? Yes, sir. That was a promise. That is a promise to appear, not an admission of guilt. I don't, I don't live here, though. I won't be here. I won't be around. That is not my problem. You can arrange something with the court. Have a specific court date and come back to town. Well. Well, you gave, you gave him more than one citation. Yes, I did. That's because he broke more than one law. But I did, but I did them all at once. No. That's not how it works. Every time you break the law, you are issued a citation. That is a citation for a violation of so, the law. If so, you break five laws, you get five citations. Yes, it's one piece of paper. Are you being a smart ass again, sir? Just the gum thing. Uh, sorry, sorry, sir. I, I was. I'm I was, sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I was making fun of him. He, he. It, it was ridiculous. He had his license stuck to gum. It had nothing to do with you, sir. That's fine. We'll clean your life up and drive safer. Okay. Go ahead and call the phone number on the back, and they'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Killer boots, man. Was that? I was yelling at him because minutes ago I told him to slow down, and he didn't. And I'm laughing at him because he's 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 an idiot, sir. You need to listen to your friend. Point seven miles. And we're done. You wanna put some makeup on or something? Dude, I wanna take some of that makeup off the lens. Uh, see that clean up a little bit? <laughs> yep. Did close it off. Here we are, Rodale Drive, ending. We're supposed to go over there. Are you part of the combo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The stickers are all over us. Thank you. Where should we park? What's up, guys? Tony! I'm here, Tony! Damn, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Tony! Alex, right here the ranks. Hey, well, how are you up and rolling? Yeah, I'm just wondering, how was the trip from Las Vegas today? Uh, it was short compared to every other trip. <laughs> how are the gas prices in Germany? What are you doing? Who? Thanks, you? Yeah, cool. Do you want the bullshit? Oh. Are you hiding? Is that what you're doing? So, so what's up with the car? So car's history. Is that your fault or Ryan's? It's Serbia's fault. <laughs> Serbia's fault. Uh, somebody has a photo of the car smoking when it was getting on the airplane, which I'm going to use as evidence. That's not very nice, is it? Tony, could you look, sign this for me? And then he has another sign too. Thank you. Okay, hey, Bam. So, uh, yes. Can I have your autograph? Yes, sir. Thanks. Hi, Bam. Could you sign this for me when yes, you're done? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, how are you doing? 
Why? Yeah, Bam, let's go smoke a joint. Hey, you want to sign my cell phone? Aaron, this, Aaron's going to Watch your foot, Bammy. <laughs> 10 days. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we haven't seen each other. It's a reunion. Oh, All right, Captain, what's the gumbo plan? Plan is chill out for a little bit, have a shower, go back to the hotel, have a shower, and get changed. It sounds pretty smart when we go off to the play one match. So we finally made it to Los Angeles. The race is over and the car actually made it here, but it needs to still get repaired. And uh, on top of that, I polished off an entire bottle of whiskey and I'm hurt. I'm going up to the room and I'm gonna pass out for two days straight. The story of the missing gumball machine is, I know there's one of the Playboy Mansion that you have in this car and I'm gonna use that one as the spirit of the gumball trophy. Maybe Mr. Hafner will let us keep it. If not, then we'll use it and, and give the winners out another one afterwards. But I think it'll be good. Yeah, right. I'm surprised it made it. Some sick bastards. <laughs> He's got some front, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Rep who we drive. <laughs> a lot of tickets, a lot of trouble with the police, but it was good. Rock and roll with a GTO. <laughs> We've done it around the world in eight days. We are happy, <laughs> exhausted. How are you? Uh, in Europe, we got pulled over six times. Uh, in the States, three. Gumball in one rap sentence. If you haven't done it, you better do it in your lifetime. If you only do it once, it's something you'll take to your grave with you and you'll say, that was the best damn thing I've ever done in my life. Around the world in eight days, we pulled it off. So uh, that's what's just gone on. We left London last Sunday, and here we are in Beverly Hills at the Playboy Mansion, Sunday the 7th of May. <laughs> you just gotta listen to some of the stories, and you know, engines are blown up, cars have run off the road, people have missed flights. <laughs> You know, whatever you can think of has gone on, has gone on. I mean, if you were to write the script, no one would believe it. We've overcome every logistic nightmare possible, and, and somehow it has it's said it's worked. You know, when we left Bangkok, we only made the flight by two minutes. Which, if we'd missed that window of, of taking off, we would have missed the whole US stage of the rally. So, we made it by 120 seconds. The Alpine Stars Best Drivers of the World 2006. It goes to car number 75, Christian Briggs and co pilot Henry Bloom. Even some of the more conservative guys in their daily jobs have turned out to be some of the most kind of outlandish, wacky, kind of uh, crazy guys on the during the week of it. The next award, the Maguire's Award, it goes to the car driven by Swiss Beats, Lil Chris and Travis Barker. Give them a cheer. <laughs> really kind of made it concrete to me that, that Gumball is really quite well known in, in all these countries we went through. And... This is a kind of a tradition with Gumball that we always give a couple of Burt Reynolds heads out. Kind of 88, Amr and Yasser from Saudi Arabia in the Lamborghini with the Chevron branding. It's really that feeling being the host that, you know, if they're having a good time, then that's that's really, it's worked, you know. The Co-Pilot Award, car number 80, the noble of James and Thomas. Give those guys a cheer. So, we're on to the final award, the big one. So for this, I'd like to announce Mr. Hugh Hefner, and his girlfriends Holly, Bridget and Kendra to the stage. The 2006 
spirit of the Gumball Award goes to Damien, Richard, and Ezra. <laughs> Mostly people asking what am I doing next year, and, and I've got three different routes planned that um, I've driven some of them. All right, just quickly, Julie and I would like to thank everybody involved this year, our crew, give the crew a big cheer, they've been amazing. We'd really like to thank Mr. Heckler for letting us hold our party here for the second time. It's been an amazing eight days, and we're going to do it again next year, and I hope to see you all there. Thank you again. When I was a kid, I would have wanted to do the gumball, and, and I want to keep that kind of essence to it always, you know, and keep keep it creative and, and groundbreaking in its roots and, and eccentric and eclectic in its participants and, and cars. And, and with that kind of cocktail, then it's, it's going to continue to appeal to everyone from a skateboarder to a banker and, and, and everything in between. Which one? This one, two-story one. Jeez, oh, wow. Name, Rick? <laughs> Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> I drove across the world in this thing. Huh? This is it, boys. Go over. Say bye to Mike. I'm out. Well done. You good? 2,000 miles. Seven days. All right, we're in London, it's six months later. I just saw the footage of the guy doing the donut in my fucking Lambo, and now we have a few gallons of paint, and we found the dude's house, and he's going down right now. Let's talk more action. <laughs> we're only walking into a prison. We're in a gated fucking area. Huh? Is it right here? Are you sure? <laughs> Oops. Ah, oh, shit. Looking, bro. <laughs> this is the only clothes I brought to London. Police. <laughs> I think we fucked this car up pretty good. That's not very nice. Yeah. Isn't it?